I'm going to alter this precious moments and turn it into something for Thanksgiving. Remember the scene from Friends with Monica wearing a turkey on her head? Let's go. First, I removed the string of hearts that's wired to her hands. We don't need that. Then I painted the top of her dress green to match Monica's shirt and the bottom blue to match her jeans. I painted the base with the perfect friend's lavender. I needed to cover up all these hearts and paper scraps on the base, so while the paint was drying, I got to work on a bunch of fun accessories which I made from Model Magic air dry clay. I couldn't do this without the classic friend's frame from Monica's apartment door. I made it by curving the ends on some ropes of clay, sticking them together, and then I ran a toothpick down the middle to make grooves. I added some orange paint down in the grooves for depth and texture. Finally, I painted a bright yellow over all the rest of it. Then I made a few coffee cups because, of course, there has to be coffee. I used the end of a paintbrush to make the hole in the middle, and the handle was just a little rolled piece of clay that I stuck on. I painted the insides brown and the outsides in three different fun colors. To round it out, I created a little duck just like Chandler and Joey's pet. This was really easy to paint. I just added a little yellow on the beak and a toothpick dot for the eyes. Then I created a lobster to remind us of Phoebe's famous line, and lastly, a little orange couch. After all the pieces had dried, I glued them to the base, it covered up all the hearts, and created a fun pile of friends mementos. It's almost cute enough just like this, but we've got to do that turkey head. I got a big hunk of model magic and wrapped it completely around her face. Yes, this looks a little freaky, but it will get better as we go, don't worry. I formed the ball into a general turkey shape with the tail flap at the bottom and that divot at the top. This did take a little bit of time, but it was worth the effort to work it into just the right shape. Then I took more clay and formed my first drumstick, and the second I put it in place, I couldn't stop giggling. This was coming together just like I hoped it would. I added a second drumstick and arranged them just so. Mm, perfection. Next, I worked on the wings. I wanted to make sure they were roughly the same size and shape, so I created both of them separately and then compared and adjusted before adding them to the body. I pinched the wing tips into a point and then used a craft knife to cut a little notch to make them look more realistic. Adding them to the turkey body was super easy because the clay just sticks to itself. I pressed them in place, kind of positioned it, got it just right. I admit I wasn't sure I could get this turkey to look how I envisioned, but the model magic clay is so easy to work with that it just came together brilliantly. I also made sure to wrap it all the way around the back of her head too. I didn't add a ton of detail back here, but it needed to at least look smooth in case anybody looked at the back, right? To give the turkey a little realistic skin texture, I dabbed it lightly with the end of a paintbrush. And for a final touch, I pressed the brush handle down into the breastbone to create that signature dimple. Okay, all set, time to paint. I mixed pink, yellow, and a touch of orange and brown to get the color just right. A little tip, if you mix a custom color for something like this, be sure you save some in a little container or a baggie in case you need to do touch-ups later. It is way too hard to try to match a custom mix after the fact. To finish this off, I added some sunglasses and a little fez cap, and my turkey Monica was done. I immediately had to make the figurine do Monica's little wiggle dance, and I laughed as hard as Chandler did in the original scene. What do you think? Is this an improvement of the original figurine? To me, it's even more precious now because it makes me smile every time I see it. If you like it as much as I do, be sure to like this video. I can't wait to create more altered precious moments and I have a few ideas up my sleeve already. If you've got any suggestions on what I should create or leads on finding more unwanted figurines that maybe need a little extra love, let me know in the comments below.